What's going on everybody? It's your boy Kilo Loco and today we're going to be going over how you can change your apps icon so that you don't have to end up like Slack where all these haters are talking all that mess about your apps icon because you decided to change it. Hey, just give them the choice. You can have this one or you can have that one or hey, there's even a third one. Why not? So this is essentially what the app is going to look like. We're just going to have our primary app icon right here, and then we're going to have the ability, you know, to change between them. We're going to have an orange one eventually, and then a blue one. Uh, and I don't have the images in there right now, but we're going to add them throughout the tutorial. Now, before we jump into the code, I just want to say, make sure you head over to kiloloco.com, see if there's anything there that, that you like, and you know what? We might be able to gain value from each other. You know, you might be able to help me out. I might be able to help you out, and it might work out for the best. Also, make sure you check out that all access membership, baby. Oh, yeah. All right, let's jump into the code and let's take a look at what we're working with. So as you saw from the app, there's only three different spots that we can tap anywhere on the screen. It's going to be the primary um, app icon, which is right here, the orange app icon and then the blue app icon, which we, we don't have those images in there just yet. I'm going to show you how to get those in there. And then we just have those uh, those set as buttons essentially just so that we could tap on them, run some functionality, and we have that for all three of them, right? So the first thing that we want to do is we actually want to get the app, the, the alternate app icons into our project, but we don't want to do it the normal way where we go to our assets and then we have, you know, the app icons and all these in here. What we actually have to do is we have to create a new group and what we want to do is we want to have a new group out here, not in our assets, um, our assets uh, catalog. So let's go ahead and create a new group and we're going to just call this um, alternate icons. Now you could call this whatever you want. I called it alternate icons. You call it, uh, you know, poop icons, original icons, throwback icons, call it whatever you want. It doesn't even have to have icons, just call it pictures, whatever. Um, next, what I want to do is just because personally, I like to keep my stuff like organized if I can, is I'm going to create two more groups because we're going to have two other app icons that we're going to add on to here. So I'm going to have an orange app icon and then we're going to have a blue app icon. So I'm going to create separate folders for each of those. You don't have to do this. It's just what I want to do. All right, so now that we have our folders in place, all we have to do is we have to import the images that we want to actually be those app icons. Now, remember that app icons have a specific size. If you go over to your assets and you uh, click on your app icon, you're actually going to see uh, that the iPhone app has a 60 point, um, a 60 point image and it's actually 2x and 3x so what we want to do is we want to make sure that we have these exact sizes so what this means is we have a picture that's going to be uh, 120 by 120 and then uh, we have a picture that's going to be 180 by 180 so we need to make sure that those app um, that those dimensions are exactly right now i already have those images uh, all you want to do is you just want to make sure that you have images that are that size and then those can be your alternates. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to one of the folders um, for the blue app icon. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, add the files. So we're going to add files to change app icon. And I have mine located on the desktop. All I have to do is go to alternate icons and I'll just choose the two blue ones. So KL blue app icon. Uh, um, kale blue icon and as you can see they have the the naming convention that is already set with the at you know 2x at 3x whatever just because that's how um when i when i export my app icons i do them from sketch and this is an easy way to actually um, embed them in your app and let me just show you really quickly that my app icons actually have the same naming convention. If I were to show you this app icon in the in the finder, you're actually going to see that they have all the same naming conventions, whatever the point size is, and then at that that whatever um, at two x at three x or whatever. So let's keep going. All we want to do is we want to do the same thing for the orange app icons. All right, so now that we have all the app icons that we need inside of our app, what we can do is we can actually go back over to the UI and just update that real quickly just so that we can see what the app is going to look like. All right, so as you can see, I just set the images or the, the background image for the buttons to be um, the respective icon. So now if we go ahead and run that, we can just see what the app, see that the app is up to date. 
looking really good, looking real good. So now let's get on to the part that you actually care about, which is actually setting up your project. Now, the the hardest part about doing the app icon switch is working in the info.p list. Now, I would do the drop down like you normally just hit the plus right here and then do the drop down stuff, but for whatever reason Xcode doesn't like me doing it that way, so we're actually going to do this in the info.p or in the property or in the source code of the info.p list. So what you want to do is right click info.p list open as source code. You're going to scroll all the way to the bottom. You're going to see these two tags at the very bottom and what you want to do is you want to create some space in between that like so. Now I'm going to go through and I'm going to write out uh, the first part on how to set your primary app icon and then I'll go back over it. All right, so, and all this code that I have right here is going to be um, in the description you, where you download the actual project files. So go go to that link and then you'll be able to get all this code and you'll be able to just paste it in here. So as you can see, we have a CF bundle icons key. And what this is gonna be is it's gonna have um, a key called this and then it, it has a value of dictionary. Now this dictionary is everything in, inside of these, inside of here right here. And then it has another key that is called primary um, primary icon. Now that's obviously gonna be your primary icon. And then um, it has another key inside of that dictionary called CF bundle um, icon files. And this is gonna specify what the file's name is. So whatever you have your app icons name set as, you want to make sure that you have it set as that right here in this string. Now, remember that I said over here in our assets that if I were to show you this in the finder, when we go to show and finder, you're going to see that it's icon underscore 60 point at 2x. Now, if you have this naming convention, then you don't want to have the at 2x at 3x. You don't want to have anything um that has the at symbol. So just whatever the app or whatever the um, image name is, in this case, it's icon underscore 60 point, and then ignore the, the at 2x. Also, you don't wanna include the dot PNG. So that's all you have to put right there. Next, what we have to do, and this is just for the primary. Next, what we wanna do is we want to also include the alternate, um, the alternate icons. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add that code in right here. And as you can see, I'm just gonna have it kind of separated by like spaces just so that you can see that there's a difference. All right, so the next piece is to actually add in the alternate icons, which we can see that we're just putting it under the primary key. So after we give the value for the primary icon, we wanna give the value for this, the alternate icons, which is gonna be in here. And as you can see, we have a key called orange app icon. Now this right here, this key, you can call it whatever you want. You call it throwback icons, you call it classic icons, call it original, whatever, call it whatever, future icons, whatever. Call it whatever you want, and then um, it's gonna have a value of type dictionary. Now this is actually where you're gonna specify what file you plan on using. So you're gonna have to do another di another dictionary right here where it's gonna have a value of an array. And inside of that array, you're gonna wanna list out the, the icon that you wanna use. So it's gonna have a value of type string, and that's gonna be um, whatever the name of the file actually is. Now notice that once again, this is KL orange icon at 2x, but we're not gonna include that at 2x or the dot PNG either. We just wanna have that same name right there as uh, right, uh, that's right here. We wanna have it in here. So that's what we wanna make sure um, is the same. This, call it whatever you want. This has to be the name of the file, excluding the at um, whatever the at 2x at 3x same thing down here. So now we're gonna have two different icons This is one key. This is the second key, right? So this one's gonna be my blue um, App icon once again call it whatever you want It's gonna have the same key as up here the CF bundle icon files and then okay uh, And then we have the string value inside of this array Which you have to make sure that the file name is spelled exactly correct excluding at symbols, right? So now that we have our info.plist set up, we're all set, we're ready to go. Uh, we can actually start coding this thing. Now, there's ac there, it's actually like one line of code in order to set your app's um, icons, but 
I like to make sure that you guys are kind of following better practices. So we're going to put this in a separate service. So let's do that now. All right, so now that we have our app icon service, this is essentially where all of our code is gonna live that's related to changing our app icon. There's not a whole lot of things that you really have to do. It's really like one line of code to just set it up, but it's always best to you know kind of keep all your functionality grouped together. So the first thing that we wanna do is we wanna set up the different cases that can happen uh, where we're going to be selecting our different app icons. So we need to have a primary, we need to have uh, a orange one, we need to have a blue one or whatever the different cases that you have. So what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to create an enum that's going to handle each of those cases. All right, so we have each of the cases that can pot uh, that our app icon can possibly be. So we have this app icon enum and it's conforming to the string protocol, which means that each of these are going to have a, a raw value that are spelled out exactly like this as a string. And I want you to notice the naming convention, blue app icon, orange app icon. I actually gave it the same naming convention that you can find right here in the info.plist. So orange app icon, blue app icon, I gave it the same exact naming convention so that this is essentially going to be referencing those names. Now, if I would have called this like, uh, like throwback icon or something like that, then I would either need to have a throwback icon in here or set the value to be like throwback icon or something like that. But since I have all the same naming conventions and I'm not doing anything, anything crazy, um, you know, this is what's going to work. And this is also why this name doesn't matter. This is just simply how you're referencing the actual file now or how you're referencing the image. And then this is the actual file name. That is what matters. So let's go back over here. And now that we have each of these, what we can do is we can create a, a function on our app icon service. That's going to allow us to change the app icon to one of these uh, possibilities. All right, so now that we have the function in there that's going to actually allow us to, that, that we're actually gonna call in order to change the app icon, what we need to do is we need to have access to the to the instance of our application. So I'm gonna create a instance a constant up here that's going to give us access to our application. All right, so now that we have this um, this constant called application, which is just simply our UI application dot shared, and I also made sure to import UI kit, we can reference this application. So all we need to do now is just say application dot set the alternate icon. All right, so there's this function on here that says set alternate icon name, and all we need to do is just simply pass in a, a string to the name that we gave it in the info.plist. Remember that I used the particular naming convention, blue app icon, orange app icon. So what I can do is I can actually pass our app icon in right here for the, um, for the value or for the raw value that is. Now the completion handler, you can use this if you want, but the errors are really only going to be um, if you choose the wrong name or something like that. So a, a user should never really run into any of the errors, and I actually had a problem reproducing some of the errors that, that it can throw. So I'm just going to say that this, for the most part, is not really needed. So you can go ahead and delete the completion handler if you want, um, or you could use it if you want. Hey, whatever you want to do. But let's go ahead and add in our app icon now. All right, so as you can see, it's just as simple as saying app icon dot raw value since our app icon does conform to the string protocol. And now all we need to do is just simply go back over to our view controller and have an instance of our app icon service, call the change app icon with the correct app icon uh, value for each of the buttons. All right, so as you can see, we're just creating an instance of that app icon service. And then depending on which uh, which button we're pressing, we're just going to pass in the corresponding value. So as you can see, each of these we're passing in the correct value, blue button, or we tap the blue icon, we're going to pass in the blue icon. So let's go ahead and run this and let's see what happens. All right, so now if we go ahead and go back 
and as you can see we're gonna just have our regular black icon but when I go ahead and tap this orange button you're gonna actually see this pop-up that's automatically generated for your user that's gonna say you have changed the icon for whatever your app's name and it's also gonna show an image of the icon and when they press OK you're actually gonna see it go back uh, when you go back it's actually going to save this which is which I think is pretty cool and the awesome thing is that you actually don't even need to use like user defaults or anything like that and even if you were to kill your app it would still stay on the icon that they set so let's go ahead and do the same thing for the blue icon and you can actually go back to the home screen and see that it is now the blue icon now when we hit the black icon notice that nothing happens that we're not getting that pop-up and if we go over here to our home screen we're actually not getting um, it to turn back to our primary icon now the reason for that is because remember if we go back over to our code and then we go into our app icon service we're actually saying that we're looking for a value called primary app icon which doesn't exist in our info.plist so what we're supposed to actually pass in in this case is nil so if you set this value to nil as opposed to being a string what will happen is it will set it back to your your primary apps icon that you have in your assets catalog so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a constant right here that's going to use um, a ternary operation in order to figure out what i should put in here if if the app icon is the primary app icon then what I want to do is I want to set it to nil if it's anything other than the primary app icon I want to make sure that I pass in that val the the raw value of that app of that app icon all right so as you can see I have app icon value right here which is of type uh, optional string and we're all we're saying is if my app icon is equal to a dot primary app icon then we're going to set this value to nil if it's not equal to that then what we're going to do is we're going to set it to the raw value of whatever that app icon is which means it's going to either be blue app icon or orange app icon so now if we go ahead and run this again oh and we have to obviously make sure that uh we're passing in the app icon value before we run it again app icon value so let's go ahead and run it again after we're passing in the app icon value and if we go ahead and we take a look at our app it's already blue from last time right so let's go ahead and set it to orange we can see that it's turning to orange right there with the pop-up and even if we check it it's going to turn orange and then if we hit the primary we're actually going to get that pop-up as expected we're going to say okay and we go back to having our pre or our original app icons the primary app icon so I just wanted to show you guys that I want to make sure that you guys don't make the same mistake that slack made uh, because it seemed like there was a huge outlash <laughs> when all that stuff happened but anyways I hope that you found that very valuable I hope that you consider adding this into your apps and if there's any other topics that you want me to cover just make sure that you leave a comment down below and I'll make sure to add that to the list that of topics that I need to cover. So that's going to be all for today, guys. Thanks for your time. Make sure you go out there and keep coding passionately.